Welcome back guys to another episode where I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube channel from scratch and how to share your first video for the whole world to see. So first of all, we're going to go onto youtube.com obviously and create a new channel. So if you go onto YouTube and hit sign in, uh, this time click on create account for myself. Enter your first name. It doesn't need to be your real name. This can also be the name of your channels. Uh, I've personally run out of Gmail accounts to sign up to YouTube. So I'm going to use a brand new name and I'm going to call it Booch Booth. Now you don't need to give your phone number. You can give a recovery email address if it's not an account that you plan on using the email account of. It does ask for your date of birth. Now I personally don't give my date of birth. There's probably too many males on YouTube. So I'm going to call it rather not say, hoping that that helps boost myself on YouTube somehow. Next. That is all you need to do to create a brand new YouTube account. Now you're going to need to sign in for the first time. So make sure you've done that. Go to settings on your YouTube account and click on create a channel under your channel. It might look different if you're using an iPad or something else. So this is what I'm going to call it Booch Booth. Feel free to distribute whatever number of names that you have in your channel. Let's say it's a whole sentence. You can put half the sentence in the first box, the first name box and the rest of it in the last name box. Click on your name on the top right hand corner and click on YouTube Studio. This will take you to a brand new page that looks very different from YouTube that you normally look at. Now I would recommend going straight into the settings in the YouTube studio app and clicking on channels within the channels tab of settings under the YouTube studio app. Uh, I would select the country of residence that you have. So for the time being, I'm going to put the UK in and keywords are really, really important for your search engine optimization and to optimize your channel and for the YouTube algorithm to know who are you trying to target? What sort of keywords do people need to put into YouTube in a search for your channel to come up? So for mine, since I'm creating something specific very much to kombucha, I'm going to put that in here and you can separate keywords using commas. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put kombucha, I'm going to put booch, I'm going to put booch booth. This is all I'm going to put in this box for now. So all I'm going to do now is just hit save and then move on. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add some images to my channel. And for that, I'm going to go straight onto my channel, hit this button that I can edit my profile picture on and then select something else. Now I'm going to select this picture and just select the part that you want to select. There's some other things that you can add here, like a gender. I did put rather not say show it to anyone who is interested in that. The next thing I would really recommend doing is going into your about section and adding some text here. So if you click on customize channel, it will give you an option to add some stuff onto your channel. You can add channel art here. I'll do that later. Not important for the time being. You can add a channel description and all of this does feed into your SEO to your keywords. So make sure you fill this section in. It's also an introduction to people who want to find out a bit more about yourself. The people that are going to come onto the channel probably share something in common with me, my passion for kombucha. So I'm going to write some text to appeal to those people. You can add links if you have any, maybe you have a website or even your personal links like LinkedIn or something like that. I just want to show you what to do next to start uploading videos. The only thing you need to do is click on create here and click on upload video. It's that simple. Now you need to select the file that you've created with your video that you want to upload. You don't have to edit videos. A lot of people do edit videos, but these days I would recommend if you want to be lean fast and uploading videos as soon as you come across a new idea, then I would recommend just making the video, taking it out of your memory stick and just putting it onto YouTube. I need to edit my videos quite heavily because I make mistakes and I don't know how to talk properly. So I'm going to select the file that I have. It's all ready to go. It's this one here and click choose. Now it's going to start uploading that video. This is really, really exciting. This is uploading your first video for the first time. In the meantime, I'm going to start deciding what title I want, what description I want and the thumbnail that I want and every other detail with about this YouTube video. So you don't need to waste time. You don't need to wait until this video is done uploading. 
Now I've decided what name I want to call it. If you've noticed, I put in quite a lot of words here just to make sure that my video comes up when people don't use all of the keywords, but use some of it. What I would really recommend is that you use hashtags here. Uh, you can use up to three. Don't forget that some people need reminders to like videos like this one. So make sure you hit the like button as well on this one and subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to leave a reminder like that here. Now I want to select a thumbnail here, but it doesn't let me because I haven't entered my phone number here. So I'm going to do that right now. It shouldn't take that long. So I'm going to use the same photo for this video. It has my face on it. My video is not made for kids unless kids are starting to drink booch these days. I don't think they are. So I'm just going to add some keywords that describe this video. They're just to make sure that people can end up finding my video just like we did with the channel. I'm going to select English UK because I think that's the language I speak in. If you select a standard YouTube license, that would just mean that other people can't use your video without your permission. If you use the Creative Commons license, then that means anyone can use content from your video. They can take snapshots, they can share your video. This is good if you want your video to be shared publicly. Maybe you want it to go viral. You want people to create videos on your video. Maybe you want to create a review of a review and you want other people to create a review of a review of a review. Then you should select Creative Commons. All you need to do now is hit the next button and it's going to take you to this page where you can add an end screen. An end screen is if you have several videos and you want people to click on other videos that you've produced, maybe something that you recommend. I don't think that's necessary for your first video, so you can just leave that. You can also schedule this video for a release later on. I'm going to select public here because I want it to be just a typical average public video. And if you hit publish here, that means that your video is now published for the rest of the world to see how glorious and great you are. So this is the link that you want to share with basically everyone you know, maybe your Facebook, your Instagram, just share it around the world. And that is the link to that video that you created. I hope you found this episode useful. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and to Booch Booth now that I have that channel up and running.